In their strategic predictions for 2020, Gartner announced that the Internet of Behavior is something we will become increasingly aware of, and that we might have to grapple with as a society. The Internet of Behavior combines existing technologies that focus on the individual directly, that is, facial recognition, location tracking and big data for example, and connects the resulting data to associated behavioral events, such as cash purchases or device usage. Soon the Internet of Behavior will be prevalent. By 2023, they predict that the individual activities of 40% of the global population will be tracked digitally in order to influence our behavior. That's more than 3 billion people. The Internet of Behavior will challenge what it means to be human in the digital world. You could say it this way, we've moved beyond merely adopting technology to considering its ramifications. The Internet of Behavior extends from the Internet of Things, the interconnection of devices that results in a vast variety of new data sources. This data might be specific to you as a customer, data you've provided through a company's app. But, more often, companies are gathering non-customer information by sharing across connected devices. Companies using the Internet of Things to get us to change our behaviors isn't really about the things at all. As the IoT links people with their actions, we've verged into the Internet of Behavior. Consider the Internet of Behavior a combination of three fields, that is, technology, data analytics, and behavioral science. We can break behavioral science into four areas we consider when we use technology, emotions, decisions, augmentations, and companionship. As companies learn more about the Internet of Things, they can affect our behaviors. Consider a health app on your smartphone that tracks your diet, sleep patterns, heart rate, or blood sugar levels. The app can alert you to adverse situations and suggest behavior modifications towards a more positive or desired outcome. For now, companies mostly use the IoT and IOB to observe and attempt to change our behavior to achieve their desired goal, that is, selling services to you. The bottom line is, you don't have to be concerned about your data. Many people accept that data is a wild west frontier, but what they get out of this is valuable. Others, however, are certainly concerned that neither companies nor government care about individual privacy. The Internet of Things surely converts data to information. But we will have to wait and see if Internet of Behavior can translate knowledge of us into real wisdom. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.